welcome back to the Learning with Girls Inc. YouTube channel. I'm Miss Haley and I'm going to be reading you guys another story for our bedtime story sleepover series. Today's book is Be Kind. This book is by Pat Zitlau Miller and illustrated by Jen Hill. I really hope you guys enjoy. Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday all over her new dress. Everyone laughed. I almost did too, but mom always tells me to be kind, so I tried. I didn't think it worked, I said. Purple is my favorite color. I thought Tanisha would smile, but she ran down the hall instead. When she came back, snack time was over. She put on her art smock and didn't look at anyone. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favorite class, but I didn't want her to leave again, so I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. When I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her my napkin? Let her borrow my sweatshirt? I spilled my juice so everyone stared at me instead. What does it mean to be kind anyway? Maybe it's giving making cookies for Mr. Rinaldi who lives alone, letting someone with smaller feet have my too tight shoes. He might win races in them too. Maybe it's helping, putting dirty dishes in the sink, cleaning up after Otis, our class guinea pig. He's a messy eater. Maybe it's paying attention, telling Desmond I like his blue boots, asking the new girl to be my partner, listening to Aunt Franny's stories, even the ones I've heard before. Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper or re recycling a bottle, like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle, or saying, thank you, bless you. Hey, Kayla, what's new, Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi Mondelbaum. My mom says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Being kind can be hard too. Even when you know what to do, teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky, even when I'm patient. And sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard and really scary. Maybe I can't solve Tanisha's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Maybe I can only do small things, but my small things might join small things other people do. And together, it could grow into something big. Something really big. So big that all of our kindnesses spill out of our school and spread through the town. Travel across the country and go all the way around the world. Right back to Tanisha and me. So we can be kind again. And again, and again. The end. I really hope you guys enjoyed that story called Be Kind by Pat Zitlau Miller and illustrated by Jen Hill. Stay tuned for the last episode of our sleepover series. Make sure to bring your best pajamas and your favorite friends. Bye guys, have a good night.